गुड मॉर्निंग व्यूवर्स टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ लेक्चर इज क्वालिटेटिव एनालिसिस ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड दिस इज द एक्सरसाइज यू हैव टू डू इन द प्रैक्टिकल लैब्स ऑफ अंडर ग्रेजुएट क्लासेस सो इन दिस स्लाइड यू कैन सी द टॉपिक ऑफ द लेक्चर सिस्टमैटिक क्वालिटेटिव एनालिसिस फॉर द आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड मोर करेक्टली आई कैन से अननोन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एनालाइज अननोन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड वट शुड बी द प्रोटोकॉल वट शुड बी द प्रोसेजर यू नीड टू अंडर गो थ्रू दैट टू एनालाइज द अननोन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड इन फैक्ट समाइम्स यू आर गोइंग टू सम इंटरव्यूज एक्सपर्टीज गिव यू ए अननोन कंपाउंड इट कैन बी सॉलिड इट कैन बी लिक्विड इट कैन बी कलर्ड इट कैन बी कलरलेस और व्हाइट कलर्ड समटाइम्स यू ऑब्जर्व then how can you say that what is this particular organic compound there are some processes you need to go through that and why it is called systematic systematic means you have to you have to uh, do the test uh, step wise if you overlook some step you will not able to get the correct organic compound the first step for the systematic qualitative analysis is preliminary test means this test will give you idea the possibility of the compound but why we are saying it preliminary test because this test these kind of test will not confirm the presence of organic compound second step solubility test after doing preliminary test you need to perform the solubility test the third step is detection of extra elements now what is this step detection of extra element If we talk about what is organic compound what definition comes in your mind when we talk about organic compound organic compound are the compound which necessarily contains carbon and hydrogen sometimes they may contain oxygen or they may not contain oxygen for example if we talk about the organic compound containing carbon and hydrogen these are hydrocarbons right hydrocarbons include alkane alkene alkyne aromatic compounds if we talk about the organic compound containing oxygen what are the possibility of organic compounds these compounds may be aldehydes these compounds may be ketones may be esters may be anhydrides may be ethers now what is this step then detection of extra elements detection of extra elements means apart from carbon hydrogen and oxygen if there are some elements which are actually known as extra element in this particular exercise are nitrogen sulfur and halogens so if in any organic compound along with carbon hydrogen and oxygen nitrogen may present sulfur may present halogen may present that how can you analyze these extra elements so we need to perform this uh, test third step detection of extra elements after analyzing the extra elements in the given organic compound you need to perform the detection of functional group you know what is functional group functional group is the moiety of organic compound which is actually mainly responsible for the characteristic properties of the compound and these characteristic properties may be chemical or physical mainly but it doesn't mean that any substituent apart from functional group are not responsible for the characteristic property of organic compound this is not so but mainly the the moiety which is responsible for the main chemical and physical properties called as functional group so on the basis of extra elements you may proceed for the next step that is detection of functional group suppose if there is nitrogen as an extra element in the organic compound i would like to tell here that in undergraduate courses mostly only one extra element is given in the organic compound but it is not like that that uh, any organic compound cannot contain more than one nitrogen or one extra element no but to understand Uh, the exercise clearly uh, we generally give we generally have in our undergraduate syllabus only one extra element or without extra element functional group organic compound in your syllabus so on the basis of extra element you may proceed for the functional group so this third step will help you to detect the fourth step 
Suppose if there is no extra element, so the possibility of the compounds which are containing extra elements has been eliminated. You need not to un go for the functional group which contains extra element because you have already confirmed that the extra elements are not there. On the contrary, on the other side, if extra element is there, suppose nitrogen is there. So, which functional group you have to proceed first? You need to perform the functional group which contains nitrogen, like nitro compounds, like amines, right? Like any lide. So, we need to perform these steps one by one because one step helps in the another step. After confirming the presence of functional group, the kind of functional group present in the organic compound, you need to go for the another step. What is that? This is the determination of melting point or determination of boiling point. Why or or is that the organic compound may be either liquid or solid. We are not giving any gaseous compound in your undergraduate courses. So, you can determine melting point or boiling point. What is the significance of this step? After confirming the functional group, suppose nitrogen X element was there and you have confirmed nitro compounds, then what is the possibility of the organic compound? So, this step is very important, it has significant effect. You can calculate, analyze the, you can determine the melting point or boiling point. Melting point or boiling point of any organic compound is a unique properties. No two compounds can have the same melting point or boiling point like our fingerprints. Viewers, you are very much aware that the uh, if we uh, talk about the fingerprints of two persons, the fingerprints of two persons cannot be same. They can be similar, but they cannot be exactly same. Same here, no two organic compounds can have the exact absolutely same, exactly same melting point or boiling point. So, this step will give you clear idea if nitro compound is there, if amine is there, then which compound is there containing amine functional group or nitro functional group. And after performing this step, you need to go for the next step that is confirmatory test. This uh, step can confirm uh, the presence of the uh, or unknown organic compound. Sometimes it is not possible, but if they in literature allow you to give you the test that this is the confirmatory test for a particular compound with the help of determination of melting point or boiling point, you have already uh, confirmed the possibility of the compound, but you need to confirm it again. Right? How can you confirm with the help of confirmatory test? After confirming the organic compound, the unknown organic compound with confirmatory test, you need to confirm it again, again, again you have to confirm it. So, that there should be no possibility of any doubt. What is the last step? Derivative preparation. You know any functional group, any organic compound can perform number of reaction. Then what reaction we have to you know uh, take over here to prepare any derivative? You know what is the derivative of an organic compound? Derivative means if any organic compound, if we replace any atom or any moiety or any substituent with the another atom or another moiety or another substituent while performing the reaction, then we can prepare the derivative. Like if we talk about benzoic acid and we perform uh, you know ammonia, when we react benzoic acid with ammonia, it will give you benzamide. Then the benzamide is the derivative of benzoic acid, but it does not mean that benzoic acid will give only this reaction, no. Any reaction which is feasible in the lab, the reagents are cheaper, easy to handle, yield are higher. These kind of reactions for a particular compound are advisable to do for this particular step that is derivative preparation. After preparing of derivative, you need to perform the recrystallization. What is that? You have prepared something and obviously, it is in the most of the cases, it is it will be in the form of precipitate. So, can you we do melting point of this precipitate? No, we need to do the recrystallization. 
recrystallization is a uh, significant step you need to remove the impurities you need to uh, remove the side product of that particular preparation and after recrystallization you need to perform the determination of melting point of derivative how can you say that this derivative has uh, you know uh, prepared successfully when you compare the melting point of your derivative with the literature if these two uh, values are comes in a good agreement then you can say you you have prepared your derivative successfully so for these are the steps for systematic qualitative analysis first preliminary test second solubility test detection of elements detection of functional group determination of melting point or boiling point confirmatory test if possible derivative preparation its recrystallization and its uh, determination of its melting point so these are the steps now let us look all these steps one by one in detail first point is preliminary test i have already told you that preliminary test are the test which are only gives you idea possibility not the confirmatory test you cannot say if your preliminary test comes out successfully and you can say this is the compound no not at all only possibility like first point is the physical state there is only two possibility in the organic compound physical state means whether the unknown compound if i gave you some organic compound if someone gave you your teacher gave you uh, any organic compound in your lab the first point you should note immediately physical state whether it is solid or liquid right how it helps you we will discuss in coming slide next point color immediately you can note down the color also if there is no color then you can write colorless but if there is a particular color you should note it immediately next point is odor if there is any kind of a specific odor pleasant smelling bad smelling any characteristic smell you should note it also it's not easy to find out the odor but still you should focus what what is the particular odor in the organic compound if there is no odor right so you should write odorless physical state solid or liquid color colored hai you need to mention it otherwise you need to mention colorless if odor is there particular odor you need to note it that otherwise you can write down odorless the next step of this preliminary test sub step is flame test or ignition test what is that we will discuss in detail in the coming slide then saturation unsaturation solubility so these are the sub step of preliminary test let us discuss in detail physical state the slide you can see the slide uh, clearly some compounds may be solid some compounds may be liquid the solid compounds may be carbohydrate acidic compound may be phenolic compound may be amines may be higher hydrocarbons higher hydrocarbons means we are talking about the number of carbon atom the compounds may be liquid which compounds can be liquid alcohols ketones aldehydes esters phenols right and amines so you can see in the picture that nitrobenzene is a liquid compound benzophenone is a solid beta naphthol is a solid urea is a solid naphthalene is a solid so if you can do this step you can easily uh, you know differentiate filter some compound the some compounds are solid and some compounds are liquid next step is color as i told you you should note it quickly if compound is yellow in color the possibility yellow solid is there then it can be meta dinitrobenzene para nitrotoluene nitrophenol nitroaniline if yellow but liquid in nature then it can be nitrobenzene brown in color para toluidine resorcinol may be there if compound is blackish in nature alpha naphthol may be there beta naphthol is of pink color pinkish or reddish color the possibilities are aniline phenol aromatic amine if colorless compound is there you can say carbohydrate possibilities there carboxylic acid alcohol ester aldehyde ketones aromatic hydrocarbon in the previous slide you can see easily if uh, you have a uh, liquid and you have a yellowish compound then the possibility is nitrobenzene but again i will remind you here is only you are going to check the possibility you are not going to confirm the organic compound if you look at the beta naphthol you can also 
you know check and note down the texture of the organic compound whether it is finely powdered right or not. You can see beta naphthol is pinkish in color right. So, these are the indications which gives you a clear idea the possibility of the compound. I am repeatedly saying the possibility of the compound. So, do not forget that these are not the confirmatory tests, these are only the possibility uh, preliminary test. We have done color. Now, the odor you can see the specific odors for some organic compounds if carbolic phenol, chrysol may be there, fishy, aliphatic amines may be there, sweet and pleasant ester compounds can be there, alcohols can be there, chloroform can be there, bitter almond smell is there, nitrobenzene, benzaldehyde, benzonitrine, nitrile may be there, moth balls, naphthalene, no particular smell, aromatic compound may be there, amide and carbohydrate. So, these steps will help you the possibility of the compound, you should note it down immediately. Now, what is flame test? Flame test is very important test which will you distinguish about whether the compound is aromatic in nature or aliphatic in nature. What you need to do? You can see in the picture in the left hand side there is a spatula. You have to take the organic compound in the spatula and directly burn on the burner. If the flame is non sooty then or luminous flame aliphatic compound as you see in your household. right? If the flame is sooty with blackish carbon then the compound may be aromatic in nature. right? So, there are the possibility you can confirm whether the compound is aromatic and aliphatic. Again, I will say these are only preliminary tests, not confirmatory tests, but definitely you should perform this test because this will give you an idea whether the compound is aromatic in nature or aliphatic in nature. Sooty flame, flame with the blackishness, with the lots of carbon, the possibility is the aromatic compound or non sooty flame or luminous flame where which you observed in your household gas or burner these are the possibility may be aliphatic compound. If compound chars the possibility is carbohydrate or sulfenylic acid. So, be very careful while doing this flame test this is also known as ignition test right. Solubility you need to check the solubility also of the organic compound take a small organic compound in a test tube add some water and check the possibility that whether the compound is soluble or not in the uh, in the cold condition right at the room temperature uh, simply you need to take the organic compound a pinch of the organic compound in a test tube add some distilled water to it if it is soluble just note it down soluble semi soluble or insoluble in cold condition if it is not soluble in cold condition you need to warm it Warm means you need to heat it gently, still it is not soluble then you need to boil it also. So, in all three condition you need to check the solubility of organic compound in water as well as in alcohol. But take this note, you should note this, I will emphasize it again that if you heat any organic compound in alcohol, please do not heat it directly. This is a volatile compound alcohol immediately can catch the fire. So, what you need to do? You need to you need to do the indirect heating. How can you do that? Just take a water bath, any container in which you can take plenty of water, you can take beaker, you can take water bath and then you need to heat it. right? So, uh, whenever you check the solubility in alcohol or in any organic solvent you need to do the heating indirectly. It is not advisable to do the direct heating. Please be very careful. This is only sufficient for solubility part? No. We can also check whether the compound is acidic in nature or basic in nature. If the compound is acidic in nature, it will dissolve in NaOH. If it will be soluble in HCl, it will uh, basic compound, then it will dissolve in HCl. So, these are also possible tests you can perform as far as solubility is concerned. Thank you so much.